In this lecture, we will discuss the most commonly used time domain transient simulation. So we start with a very simple example as a voltage divider. The design requirements are as below. We have an input voltage V in, which is a voltage step from 0 volt to 20 volt as input. We have a voltage divider to sense the voltage at V in to a lower voltage from 0 to 2 volt V sense. So the sensing gain HV, which is R2 over R1 plus R2, is chosen as 2 over 20, which is 1 over 10. Based on that, we can choose R1 as 90 kilo ohm and R2 as 10 kilo ohm. We will simulate this case in time domain transient simulation in LTSpice. So now let's go to LTSpice. You can double click the icon of LTSpice and renew a schematic. So this is the schematic you can work on. You can save as at your local directory. Give it a name. Example underline train. The extension is dot ASC. That's for schematics in LTSpice. Save. Now we want to create a schematic capture for the voltage divider we have shown before. We can either go to here as a component or we can simply hit F2 to add a voltage. It's a voltage source. If you right click, that's cancel. And then we can add a resistor. You can put it here, uh, choose a resistor escape or you can go to a component and choose resistor the hotkey is R if you hit R you got a resistor next we will connect them by a wire if you click wire here and connect them by their terminals so now they are in series please remember Spice requires a ground reference. You can right click to cancel and go to here as ground. If you want to move this schematic, you can hold the left key so that you can move this schematic around. And also you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Next, we will edit the properties of each component. You right click over this component. You can put a DC value, but in our case, this is a voltage step. So you go to advanced, choose a pulse. The initial value is zero volt. You can put zero or zero V, it doesn't matter. But please remember, there will be no space between the numerical value and your unit. V on, that's the voltage, uh, high voltage in your voltage step, that's 20. No unit in this case. So delay time is 1 millisecond. You can put 1 ms or 1 m. Rest time, which is 1 nanosecond. Fall time, 1 nano. T on, if that's empty, that means it will be on forever. That's the period time. And this is the number of cycles. You can leave it as is and hit OK. So now this voltage is defined in SPICE syntax. You can move this syntax away if it's overlapping with some components. You can also move things around. If you want to cancel if you want to cancel this just uh, right click. Now you move the mouse over R. R1 and R2 are designators. R are values of these two re resistors. Right click. You can put 90k. Or you can put 90k ohm. They are equivalent. R2 is 10k. So now the voltage 
sensing gain is sim simply 10 over 100. You can place a tax over here. You can put tax here. So the voltage sensing gain HV equals 10k over 90k plus 10k. And you can put it here as an annotation. Also, you can give a label net as v1, uh, I'm sorry, as v in, as v in as a net at this point. Move things around a little bit and connect it by a wire. Also, this has a vSense at output. Go here. You can use this icon or just use a hotkey F4. This is vSense. Right click to cancel. Save. And now the schematic is finished. We want to add a simulation file. We can go to simulate edit simulation command, choose transient, stop time is 2 milliseconds, time to start saving data from time equals to 0. The maximum time step is, leave, is left as is, which means we can use the variable time step. We will discuss it later. We can hit OK. This is the transient simulation syntax. And we can hit this running man to run the transient simulation. So now we can see another window pops up. If you go, go back to the schematic, you can use mouse to add any waveforms you are interested in, such as voltage. This becomes a voltage probe. And you put this, your mouse over this component. You can see a current probe. You can measure the current. So the current is, de uh, is defined as the arrow shown be below, which is from top to bottom. And you, if you click, left click, V in, you got the voltage step at 1 milliseconds. If you click V sense, that's the measured voltage, which is 10 times smaller than V in. Now we only have one plot pane. If you want to add another one, plot pane, and left click, hold it, and drag to the top. So now they are separated. So the y axis is more readable for different uh, scales. Also, you can put a current here. If you left click over R1, that's the current going through R1. So now this current is shown at the second y-axis because they have the same scale so they are overlapping in the top plot pane. Next, we want to check the data points of this simulation. We can go to the plot window, right click, and view, mark data points. You can see there are only a few data for this simulation because this is, a, this is a quite simple simulation. If you hit this window, you can tile the window. To check the values of each data, you can go to File, Export Data as Text, and choose what you want, and OK. So this data is saved in the same directory as your simulation file. Now you go back to your local directory and uh, you will notice there is a new text file created. You can open it by a notepad. So now this is the data you have saved. Uh, there are a few columns. First is time, second is voltage input, and the vSense. The last one is the current through R1. Because we are using variable time step, the LTSpice just uh, created 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are only 6 data points created for this simulation. 
If you want better resolution, you can edit the simulation file. Let's go back to simulation file. Right click to edit. The maximum time step was nothing here, but we can put one nano one nanosecond. That's the maximum time step allowed in this simulation. Click OK. So uh, we are expecting to see a lot of data in this simulation. Hit running man again. It takes a while to finish this simulation. But you can see we have significant amount of data available to us. Now the simulation is finished. Let's go back to the local directory. So we can see, just fresh. We can see if you if we double click, uh, the data is not loaded yet. So we need to export data to a text file. Active this plot window and export data as text. The same three traces and hit OK. Replace yes. Go back here so we can see the data is much bigger than before. Double click. This is all the data we have created using LTSPY's trending simulation. And also, the raw data, that's the, all the data we have saved in LTSPY's. So this data is automatically saved after each simulation. So now we, if we want to delete a trace, you can just hit delete on your keyboard and use this scissor to cut it off. If you want to check the power dissipation over a component, you can simply hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And now your icon, your mouse will become a temperature icon. You left click. So this is a voltage over R1 which is the voltage difference between V in and V sense times the current through R1. You can change the color of this trace. Right click. Make it right. Here we go. So this is the voltage difference between these two terminals, V in and V sense times current through R1. So this is the instantaneous power over R1. If you want to check the average power dissipation over R1 during this time, you can go back to this name, hold control key and left click. You can see this is the interval start and end. Average power is 1.8 milliwatt and the integral, this is the energy during this time. Again, you can move your mouse to this name and hold the control key and the left click. So again, to get the power dissipation, you can use the, con the Alt key on your keyboard and it becomes a temperature icon and the left click. You got this uh, power dissipation. Similarly, you can try another one. It has a much less power dissipation. We can see R2 has a much par less power dissipation than R1. Last but not least, please go to this link to check the uh, LTSPY's hot keys. So there are quite a lot of hot keys that are pretty useful. The most commonly used is modes for schematic and place for schematic. It's better to memorize these shortcuts that are often used. Thank you. See you next time.